Hello. Sorry, this is not a very well prepared video, but I can't postpone it any longer. Since my last video about the double standard, I noticed in the comment section many rambling conversations, especially between Mr. Unscientific and I, and I thought that some more explanation is needed. The double standard, we all follow it because we are all conditioned by the ideology in our society. So, you men that I admire, my comrades, with your deep, sonorous voices saying things, shouldn't feel accused or attacked. You're not to blame. In history, all historical civilizations have been patriarchy. But this is not the natural order immutable because anthropology has shown that in prehistoric times uh, other social orders have existed, more egalitarian orders. In present uh, primitive societies, hunter-gatherer societies, it is established that women sometimes supply up to 80% of the food uh, what are the reasons that, me that men are stronger than women? This can't follow from <coughs> nature uh, in our civilization, because in civilizations there are other things that are used. Technology, weapons, knowledge, brute strength is not enough. But why uh, then men largely dominate over women? This is one half of the populace <laughs> by birthright uh, being expected to be the dominant factor in the society. Uh, <clears throat> is it because they are stronger? And don't stand there and tell me that men have more brain power than women, <laughs> because I won't accept that. In <clears throat> how does power obtain? It is either imposed through violence or it is supported by consent. And consent is achieved by an ideology through which <clears throat> people are conditioned, people are socialized. And this happens in our society since childhood. For example, when you see a baby, the first question is, is it a boy or a girl? And if it's a boy, many people would say, hello, young fellow. And if it's a girl, most people will say, isn't she pretty? So. Yes, we are different, the sexes are different, we have different genitals, but that's all. Through ideology, another distinction is imposed, that of gen gender, feminine and masculine. And some psychological characteristics are assigned to males, aggressiveness, or <clears throat> ambition, and to females, passivity, and submissiveness. And to males also is assigned, is more expected of them to have a higher status in society, while women are not conditioned for that. And also the sex roles are different. Men are expected to achieve things to more human, uh, especially human things are uh, assigned to them. While for women, the birth of a child, uh, bringing up of children, this is more like what animals do. Uh, <laughs> and the basic economic unit in society is the monogam monogamous family. Engels uh, wrote a book, The Origin of the Family, Private Property and the State. 
And there, he said that the monogamous family is the origin of owning people, the man owning his wife and children. And that later led to uh, owning things, private property, to slavery, and later distinction, uh, class distinctions in society. But in our society, there have a lot of reforms being made and uh, the condition of women is getting better, but more struggle is needed. 